Hi, and welcome to Davis Sports Report. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And now we're going to start part two, discussing teams five through one. And if you have not already watched part one, go over there and find it and watch that one. It discusses teams 11 through six. So let's get to it. At number five is the UCLA Bruins. Coming back for UCLA is their number one player, and that is six foot seven Lauren Betts, who averages 14.9 points per game, 9.3 rebounds. So she is dynamic on both ends of the court. Also, Kiki Rice, which averages 13.2 points per game, 5.7 rebounds, and London Jones, who averages 11.8 points per game and only 1.7 rebounds per game. Helping them out on the rebounding side is going to be Angela Dugalik, and she averages 6.5 rebounds per game. And then coming from the transfer portal out of Washington State is Charlize Ledger Walker, who averages 13.2 points per game, 6.5 rebounds. Coming from Texas A&M, and this is huge for um, UCLA, and that's going to be Janaya Barker, who averages 12.2 points per game, 7.6 rebounds. And coming out of Oregon State, it's going to be Tamia Gardner at 11.6 points per game, 7 rebounds. So they are stacked and they have the depth. So UCLA should come out and really do it this year. They also have uh, quite a few freshmen. They have four freshmen coming in. They have uh, Kendall, Kendall Dudley. She is great from the three-point line. Also, they have Avery Kane. She is ranked number 26. She has a lot of versatility as well. And then Zanaya Sakaguman. She is six foot three, and she is ranked number 30. She's coming from the Sidwell Friends in DC. And she's going to be a great asset on the defensive side and getting the offensive rebounds and turning those into points. Last, they have Alina Aranosa, and she plays for Finland, or she played for Finland in the U20 games this year. And she was both the high score and the top rebounder. So they got some great freshmen to go with. They're already seasoned veterans that are really putting up the points and getting the rebounds. So UCLA should be very good this year. Ranking them number five, I will give that a thumbs up. I totally agree with that ranking. They possibly could have gone up higher. They got some great, uh, great players this year. So moving right along. Coming in at number four is Notre Dame Fighting Irish. So coming back for Notre Dame is Hannah Hidalgo, which I became a huge fan of her game last year. She averages 22.6 points per game and 6.2 rebounds, which I'm not sure how she does that standing five foot six, but she gets it done. Also is Sonia Critton, who is the three point shooter. She averages 17.3 points per game, 5.5 rebounds. She's going to be uh, great this year, I am sure. Maddie Westbell also averaging 14.4 points per game and 8.7 rebounds. Then we have Olivia Miles coming back from an injury. They are going to be so happy to have her back on the court. Between her and Hannah Hidalgo, I mean, nobody's going to know which way is up. <laughs> Olivia averages 14.3 points per game, 7.3 rebounds. Joining Notre Dame is going to be coming out of Pittsburgh, Laitu King. Man, and she is she good. She is averaging 18.7 points per game, 10.3 rebounds. She is going to get right in there with them, and I think she is going to be a great addition. She's going to make them nearly unstoppable. Then also coming in from Marquette, they're getting Liza Carlin, averaging 17.7 points per game and 7.9 rebounds. What can I say? Notre Dame is stacked. <laughs> they are stacked. They have the depth. I like them at the number four, possibly even number three spot. So I am giving them a thumbs up. They are also getting freshman Kate Caval. She is ranked number five and she can hit those three pointers with the best of them. So it's going to be fun to watch Notre Dame this year. I expect them to blow the socks off of most of their competition. So we'll see how they do. Moving on to next.
Number three, it's Yukon Huskies. And as we know, Yukon is always in the hunt. Coming back for Yukon, we have Paige Beckers averaging 21.9 points per game, 5.2 rebounds. She is, again, one of my favorite players to watch, so hoping for good things for her this year. Also, Ashlyn Shade is coming back. She averages 11 points per game, 3.2, 3.5 rebounds. And then Ozzy Fudd averages 11 points per game and 2.5 rebounds. Then we also have Aubrey Griffin returning with 9.5 points per game, six rebounds, and KK Arnold, 8.9 points per game and 3.1 rebounds. They are getting a great transfer out of Princeton, and that is Caitlin Chin, who averages 15.8 points per game, 3.5 rebounds. Freshmen, they got the number one pick, number one ranked Sarah Strong, and she is number one for a reason. The girl is bad. She is great offensively and defensively. I expect to see her on the court pretty early on. They're also getting Allie Zebel. She's a freshman ranked number seven. And Morgan Chelle, she is ranked number 11. So they got some great pickups from the recruiting class. Really great. So UConn coming in at number three. I can see that. I'm going to give that a thumbs up. I mean, they are the depth. You know, I talk about the depth um, because there's injuries that happen all the time in sports. And I think they can back up. If they have one player go out, they got to back up for it. I think they are going to be stacked and loaded and very hard to beat this year. So, yeah, UConn coming in at number three possibly could have gone higher. So let's see who number two is. Number two is USC Trojans. Okay, so for USC Trojans, we all know they have the hot shot, Juju Watkins, who is coming back. And I am calling USC the land of the freshmen, but we're gonna start off, we're gonna start off with those that are returning. So we have Juju Watkins returning, and Juju is averaging 27.1 points per game, 7.3 rebounds. She came in second scoring only behind Caitlin Clark last year, who averaged 31.6. Next up is Raya Marshall. She's averaging 10.2 points per game and 10.5 rebounds. And that's basically it for the returning players for USC. They lost a lot of players as far as graduation goes. So, but no fear, help is on the way. <laughs> Coming in from the transfer portal, they are getting Kiki Ariathan. Uh, coming out of Stanford, and Kiki averages 19.4 points per game, 11 rebounds per game. She is going to be a great addition to help USC do what they need to do. Also coming from Oregon is Talia Van Alhoffen, averaging 10.7 points per game and 4.1 rebounds. That is pretty much it for the veterans. Everyone else is going to be freshmen. I mean, they do have some other veterans coming back, but they didn't really make an impact on last year, so I'm not going to mention them. Uh, coming in for the freshman class, we're going to have Ken Kennedy Smith, and she is ranked number six. I think she's going to help them a lot on the offensive and rebound, offensive and defensive side, especially with rebounds and putting it back up. She reminds me a lot of Angel Reese's style. So I do think she's going to be able to help them a lot this year. Also, they have Kaylee Heckel. She is a 5'9 freshman, ranked number 13. She is a point guard, or from what I saw, a point guard in high school. Um, that's really good at driving the ball to the hole as well as making very smart assists. Also, they're getting Avery Howell. She is a great defensive player. She's ranked number 16. Also, Vivian I. She is a six foot three freshman. She is one of the many coming from Mount Verde Academy in Florida. She is a power player and she is great down low. They're getting Ryan Forrester. She is five foot eleven freshman, ranked number fifty four. She is a great ball hander. Laura Williams. She is a freshman, ranked number ninety two. She'll be great at rebound, steal, and block shots. She's six foot one. 
And last is gonna be Brooklyn Shamblin, which I didn't find any sh um, clips on her, but ESPN is saying she is a great three-point shooter. Now, I don't agree with ranking USC number two, mainly because they have four players that are veterans that um, if one of them gets hurt, I am not sure that the freshmen will be able to step into their shoes. I'm not saying it can't be done. I mean, we've seen Juju was a freshman last year, so <laughs> I'm not saying it can't be done. <laughs> but I don't know that anyone can step into Juju's shoes or Kiki's shoes, honestly. To be quite honest, I'm not sure that any of those freshmen could. They may surprise me. But based on what they have, I am going to go with a thumbs down on ranking them number two. I really think UConn should have came in at least at the number two spot. So that being said, let's move on to number one. Coming in at number one is South Carolina Gamecocks. And of course, South Carolina is ranked number one again. They are the returning champions coming off of an undefeated season. And they have many of their players coming back, missing, I believe, only Camila Cardoso, which was a huge piece. But they've got great players coming back, starting with Malaysia Full Wiley. She averages 11.7 points per game, 2.9 rebounds. Also, Tahina Pow Pow, averaging 11 points per game, 2.6 rebounds. Then there's Ashlyn Watkins, averaging 9.2 points per game, 7.4 rebounds. And we are not sure that Ashlyn will be back with the Gamecocks. Um, she is currently under investigation for um, some kidnapping charges. So she may miss some of the season or all. We are hoping that doesn't happen. I really expected Ashlyn to be a big contributor and leader for the team this year. So we are hoping to see Ashlyn back on the court this year, hopefully by the time uh, they start on November 4th. So good luck to Ashlyn. We also have Brie Hall coming back. She averages 9.2 points per game, 2.9 rebounds. Chloe Kitts averaging 9.1 points per game, 5.9 rebounds. Um, so you can see here, they don't really have a breakout score, but it's really a team effort, which worked for them last year. So I don't see why it won't work for them this year. Also joining the team is going to be the transfer from Arkansas, which I think is going to be a great addition to them. And that is Mariam Dowda. She is averaging 10.1 points per game. 6.3 rebounds, and then they have three freshmen coming in. We get in Joyce Edwards, which is ranked number three. And to me, Joyce Edwards and Sarah Strong, they are right there neck and neck to me. They are both great players. So I think Joyce is going to be able to come in and really help out as well. Also, they're getting Maddie McDaniel, who is ranked number 14. She was a um, McDonald's All-American. She is a fast-paced guard. She has kind of a um, Malaysia Full Wiley type of play. So I think she's probably going to come in behind Full Wiley or um, Raven Johnson. I think Raven is the point guard. So she will probably be behind Raven Johnson. And then they're also getting Adhel Talk, which is 6.6 6 foot 5 freshman, ranked number 28. And I think she will be a great asset on the defensive side. I'm Wondering if she's going to be able to take over where Camila Cardosa left off, though. Um, those are big shoes to fill. So <laughs> um, she's going to be their tallest player, I believe. No, nope. uh, her and Sakima Walker. So Sakima Walker, I do have her highlighted as well as Sadea Fagan. They're both coming back. They are seniors this year. We didn't see a ton. Sadea Fagan, she um, averaged 6.7 points per game. Sakima Walker two points per game, but I think if they come in and contribute a little bit more this year, then this will be a solid team. Ranking them number one is just a smart move, right? South Carolina is a great team. They're coached by a great coach. I'm not sure that they'll go undefeated, but I do think they should be ranked number one. So I'm going to give that one a thumbs up. I do believe, though, that uh, UConn is right on their tails, as well as Notre Dame. I think those three teams are going to be the ones to watch this year, as they all have phenomenal players, um, both returning players as well as freshmen that are coming in. 
they all really scored big this year. So I am looking forward to see what happens. And that's gonna be all that we have on that for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, give us a thumbs up and um, you know, look in our playlist, see if there's something you really enjoy. We do track and field, basketball, a little bit of football, um, and you know, gymnastics and things like that over the Olympics. So definitely check out our playlist and leave a comment below. Let us know which teams you think are gonna rise to the top this year. Do you think South Carolina can go undefeated and take that championship again? Or is there somebody else behind them that's coming? I mean, Duke, even though they're number 11, I think this Toby Fournier, I think she is going to be great to watch. Can't wait to watch Sarah Strong, Joyce Edwards. Uh, it's just going to be a great season. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you back here again. Have a good one. Goodbye.